How's it going, everyone? Equinox Phoenix here, and today we're going to talk about Batwoman Season 1, Episode 15, titled Off With Her Head. Well, this video just got demonetized, so, well, not really demonetized, more like suppressed to all hell and back. Anyway, and if I ever get monetization on this channel, it'll get demonetized instantly. I won't, though. No, it'll take. Maybe. Besides the point, <laughs> this episode was um, quite the um, ordeal, I should say. Um, it starts with a scene that involves your stereotypical incel. You know, you, you know, you know, you guys know those uh, those. Uh, you know, you know that people. I, I'm not gonna have to describe it. They're very not good individuals. Anyway, and of course, you know, the woman in question is saved by, by Kate, you know, gets saved by Batwoman, and is like, I would ask for a selfie, but it looks like you're needed. Well, turns out, Alice didn't kill Dr. Cartwright, but... She, um, uh, word. She did um leave him for her sister to find, and so obviously you know Kate as Batwoman finds him and uh, then decides we're gonna question him as Kate Kane and Jacob Kane. Uh, she calls her dad. Uh. And of course, with this, Jacob finds out that Alice is alive. Along with Alice going to find Mouse. But, ooh, turns out Dr. Carter had succeeded. Uh, Mouse now hates Alice, or he fears her. She's now his... Greatest fear, as described by Dr. Cartwright. Um, this episode, uh, I don't know. So he, he actually traps Alice in the fear toxin, which we find out is actually from Jonathan Crane, one scarecrow. <sighs> so I was right about that. Although, I don't think anyone else uses Fear Toxin in DC uh, comics, but... This is topic for another time. It is late and I'm yawning. Apologies. Uh, but yeah. Uh, at, Jacob, uh, they end up finding where Alice is, so Jacob goes and gets her. And... After... Jacob saves Alice... Um, We find out that um, Dr. Cartwright's a lot more twisted than we thought. For one, his mother's even more twisted, like, I thought I had bad parents. Dr. Cartwright's mom is a piece of work, for, for sure. But Dr. Cartwright also apparently um, kept the severed head of Gabrielle Kane the girl's mother and Jacob's wife in a fridge, in a freezer. Sorry, I should say. He kept it frozen, and um, he took the earrings off of uh, her, her he earrings that matches the girl's necklace, and He gave it to his mom, who asked Alice what she thought of the earrings. Um, needless to say, um, once Alice found out about all this, she committed her first murder. She killed Dr. Cartwright's mom. And obviously, you know, we know it spiraled uh, from there. Uh, but when... 
Kate finds out about this, she kills Dr. Cartwright. Now, of course, she's not supposed to be a killer, and she freaks out and is like, oh no, and tries to bring her back. Here we go. In an attempt to get in contact with Sophie, um, she ends up drinking with her sister. Because obviously Jacob brings Alice to Kate. And, and now, you know, obviously they have to bury her. <sighs> I gotta say, um, it, it's interesting, we now know... Uh, it's interesting um, seeing uh, the dynamic. I glossed over the part where Cartwright cut himself because Kate stapled his wound back shut, so it's not important. He didn't die of that. He died from being choked. Uh, so yeah, honestly, uh, I'm just going to end it here. There wasn't really all that much to happen this episode or in the Supergirl episode this week. I'll get to that in the next video I record. Uh, be sure to watch that. Anyway, um... Tell me what you guys thought of this episode down in the comment section down below. I thought it was okay, and it looks like maybe Alice is in the endgame villain? Maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time, and as always, stay bright.